Good evening to all and welcome to a brand new stream, this time with Foundation. So um, we're just going to jump straight into a new game and we already have to make a few decisions. Of course, we're going to use the map generator. Question is, which type of map are we going to build and how are we going to build it? So let's start with the first option. Coastal, fluvial or hills. Coastal will be on the coast. Fluvial should be with a river in it. And we have the hills, which should just have a lot of hills. Now, I would like to include some water in this because I think that is a lot of fun. So I guess the vote will be between coastal and fluvial. If you want to go coastal, hit one. If you want to go fluvial, hit two. All is well here, by the way. Um, little one's still a little bit sick, but that's fine. And uh, everything else is good. I hope you two are also very good. And just let me know. Fluvial. All right, we're going with fluvial, apparently. All right, it's a river. Well, it can be big, it can be small. I'd like, I don't know, some, some sort of a river. Uh, should there be a lake in it? Nah, not really. Islands? Oh, well, there could be islands in the water. Oh, that could be interesting. Ooh, this looks nice. Should there be cliffs? <laughs> well, that changes the map. Uh, a little bit of cliffs, I guess. Uh, promontory controls the overall surface taken by promontories. Oh, that sounds nice, but uh, oh, this should be fine. Not too much. We need some land, of course, to, to build on. But some hills is also good. Let's see. And slopes. How big should the slopes be? Well, this will be quite interesting. And I think not too much slopes, but who knows? All right, let's see. This should be something. Can we all agree on this? Should we play on something like this? Low slope, low slope. All right, well, then we'll lose the slopes a bit. And, uh, well, I think this should make for an interesting map. Of course, we don't know where all the starting resources will be. So where we are going to start exactly. But I guess this could be an interesting map. Um, so, yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, I think everybody will agree. Why not? So let's just jump into the game and not waste any more of our time. We've already wasted two whole minutes on this, which is not a long time. But uh, give it a go. What can go wrong? Well, everybody could leave. No mods, of course. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. Let's see if I don't misclick this time so we can do the advices because that's just fun to, to have some goals. Otherwise, you're just building a town. All right, let's put this advice into practice. We have to buy our first zone. Ooh, this is nice because the island actually looks pretty cool. With a hill on, the, on top of it. And it's a pretty big island, so we can build a nice town on this island at some point. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, I like the fact that we have some hills and things like that. I like that. Ooh, this island will be a bit hard to get on. But also interesting. Ah, we have a nice top site here for a nice keep or something like that. Oh, this, sh this map should give us plenty of opportunity to build a nice town. It's just a question where to start. We could, of course, just start by the river somewhere. Or maybe even on the island. Uh, this could make for a nice starting location. I guess we'll just have to get across then at a certain point. But I guess this could be really interesting. Uh, so we're just going to start right here. Let's purchase this. And then we'll see. All right, we need to start, of course, with our village center. Uh, now the stones are here. I'm just going to start the village right up here because I want to get a nice town here and then leave some space for fisheries and things like that. Um, and we have um, different types of resources here. All we have to do is build a bridge and we can get through other resources. So I think this can be a good spot. We'll remove the uh, stone at a certain point. So that's fine. All right, there we go. Organized work. Let's put this advice into practice. Let's build a builder's workshop. Now, most of the building is going to be done in the center of the island. So if we can place the building workshop a little bit in the center, they can just go around and use everything. Let's put two builders in there. 
The only issue is that we're going to need to build a bridge in order to bring in immigrants. I forgot about that. Uh, but uh, interesting. We'll have to remember that. But we started at Vice Lumber Camp. All right, we're going to build a lumber camp now. Uh, let's build it right here where all the trees are. I guess that will be interesting. Let's build it. Then, of course, we have to set up some extraction zones. Now, the good thing is everything has to go. So we can just extract everything. So let's just tell them to cut away all the trees. And then later on, we can remove the zoning again. Well, that's usually how I go by this game anyway. Take everything away. Uh, we'll do the village aspirations later. Let's see. Oh, we can't do anything else yet. We're going to go to speed 2. Let's build this lumber camp. Oh boy, where, why did I start here? Now we have to build a bridge before we can get anybody in. And I don't know if I built the bridge on this side, if still people can get in, or that the route for people incoming is on the other side. I have no clue. I think we should... Um, we have a warehouse, the wooden bridge. Yeah, let's unlock the warehouse, the wooden bridge and the fishery already. Now that we have the coins for it. Let's put two people in the wood chopper. Your first extraction zone. Yeah, we already did that. Gathering food. Finally, we can get into gathering food. Let's build a berry bush. Or, well, we don't have to build the berry bush, of course. We need to build a gathering hut. And a granary that goes along with it. Ah, we can do the fishery now. Oh, we can't build a granary yet. Interesting. Reforestation. No, we're not going to reforest anything yet. We'll just leave it at this. We have the builder. We don't need the warehouse yet. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, there are lots of resources on this little spot, but we still have to, to make... To reach them all, of course, so that could be something. I do believe we have a free zone soon uh, after we finish a part of the story. And once we do that, it would be very nice to uh, get this zone, I guess, and then build a bridge. But hmm, we'll have to find out. Gathering food, produce berries. Yeah, we are doing that. There they go. Should be producing berries now. I do like the little overall they gave things. So now if you want to do extraction, you actually see where the resources are. So there's there's the berries. You can now clearly see them, which is very helpful. Needs and happiness. All right, build a granary, build a transporter, things like that. Well, I guess the granary can just go close by the... Uh, the hut here, that's fine. But we need stones for that, so let's build this dude. All very close to the city center, which might pose a problem later on with desirability. But that can all be fixed, so we can move it on later here or here, and then it's out of the city. Uh, but for now, this is a fine spot. And I think now that we can, yeah, now that we can have stone, we can actually see all the stone deposits too. So that'll be fine. So how have your day's been, and your past few days. I mean, it's nice weather out here now. It's it's a good day. I like it. So I hope everybody does, and have good days. I just got myself a message. From uh, Wifey. Is everything okay? I don't see you streaming on Twitch. Well, I'm not streaming on Twitch, so that's why you can't see. <laughs> Way too hot for me. Oh, well, it's been 18 degrees here. Uh, that's not a lot for me, so... Uh, I mean, I can handle that. If it gets warmer, like plus 25, then it will be quite hard. New subscriber, thanks for the great tips. Well, thank you for your donation. That's amazing. Thanks so much. You just bought the game today. Well, from the tip video, if you've watched that, um, it, uh, it changed already a bit because they keep developing this game, which is great, of course. But uh, keep in mind, it did change a bit already, but um, 
should be fine. Most of the tips still go very good, so that's nice. But uh, thanks a lot. Wow. Pulchritudo. I'm going to try to pronounce your name. I hope I do it right. Oh, Kevin, cool day. So how warm was it? I mean, it's 18 degrees here, so that's not too warm, I guess. Did we get the free territory yet? No, we'll have to pay for it. We have the coin. But I'm not too tempted to buy one yet. We don't need it and we're not making any coins. So I guess keeping a few in the bank will be interesting. The first stones are now being produced, so we can actually build the granary. And the good thing is, if you click like the gatherer's hut, you already see all the berries light up. Same with the uh, stone cutter. Once you click it, you will see all the stones light up. So they've really made progress in, in making things a little bit more clear. There were maps where the stones were hidden somewhere in the trees and you would have to look really good to actually find those. And now we don't anymore. Now it's uh, it's way easier to see those things. <laughs> you don't do temperatures, it just wasn't raining. Well, of course, you live in Great Britain, so having a day without rain is probably already an achievement. So that should be very good. But uh, yeah. And I mean, I've been reading about the uh, coronation thing. Or the, what was it? The, the, uh, the funeral from the Queen. Only costing 187 million euros, so I guess you guys are spending your money on different things than temperature. I hope they could add the Four Seasons. Oh, that would be so nice if they could do that. I would totally support that, having the true seasons in here, making sure that you have to deal with winter, you get less berries and stuff, so we have to stock up a bit and... I mean, it's not, this game is not so much about survival, it's about um, building a nice town. Um, so I, I, I don't think they should make it too hard, but it will just be very nice to deal with the different uh, seasons, that's for sure. Although there is rain, of course, but we have to deal with every now and then. The rain comes in. All right, the granary is built. We have only two people without a job. So... One can go in here, and I guess after this we should build the market. Can't do that yet, of course, because we are following the advices. If you cancel the advices, everything will be unlocked and you can just build away, but we can't. Here's the granary. Let's set it up. We need berries in there. We'll do two badges and we'll do one transporter. Ah, we got 100 coins. That's nice. Defining residences. Ooh, we got a free zone. And we can now set residential areas where they can actually build their houses. Uh, we'll do this whole area. Let's keep it away from the coast a little bit. Yeah, it was quite a costly funeral I read in the newspaper. So that was interesting. I hope she got good insurance because, uh, well, that's quite uh, quite expensive. All right, let's go with a market stall. We'll just build one for now. And then later on, we can add more if we get extra food sources, of course. All right, let's see. Yeah, perfect. We should have the cloth too. Yes, we have. So that's nice. Buy a new territory. All right, we have to buy a new territory now. So question, should we go for the island first? But there is a chance that we can't get new immigrants in then. Or I think that's for sure. Or I think we should just buy a zone right here. Either this one or this one or one of these. So that we can actually build a bridge and try and get the immigrants in. It will be totally free. So that will be good. So... Uh, yeah, it's quite the expensive funeral. Well, I think we should buy this zone, build a bridge here, now that we have some wood to spare, and then hope we can get immigrants soon, because right now we can't. This is a free zone anyway. Oh, there are no resources in here. That could be something. Let's see. There are no resources here. Are there no resources here anywhere? So we can't get any new resources. You made a choice, so stick with it. Well, then it's going to be a very short playthrough because we won't get any new people. So we'll have to get 
across anyway at some point. So yeah, I'm not going to listen to you this time, otherwise we will have a very short stream. Of course, that could be what you want, but I don't think so. So yeah, let's buy this one. Let's start... Oh, we need a well. Let's get the well in here. So that people can actually have a drink. And uh, fulfilling villager needs, well that should be fine. We should be selling berries here. And get a market tender. Alright, that should all be good. Time to go for a bridge. I think this will set me back a lot of wood. No, not build it like this. Should go all the way like this. Let's just make it a bit shorter so we save up on some wood. 75 wood. Uh, planks. Oh, we need planks for the bridge. That's an issue because we can't build planks yet. Totally forgot about that. All right, well, let's place it already then so that as soon as we get planks... We can get across. They made it possible to start on the island. So I guess uh, there are actual ways to, to make it so that you can get off the island. Otherwise, you shouldn't be able to start here. Usually, they thought this well through. So we'll see. Right now, my builders have plenty of time to build all the housing. We have 8% happiness, uh, which is a whole 8% up from uh, nothing. But we have to do better. As soon as they all have access to the water from the well, that should be helpful. And then getting the extra food should help. So happiness should be starting to run up. But it will take some time. Uh, ah, bringing all the wood now for the well. So then that should be fixed. They can get all the resource, all the water there. This one is actually already selling berries. So that should be... Yep, yeah, that should be working out. 25% happiness now. So Roadhog, uh, question. I mean, I know you have been playing with this game already since the new update. Is the butcher and the hunter now actually worth it? Because in the older version, if you built a hunter, you would get uh, just a very tiny amount of meat. And this now tells us that if you get boar... And they will turn it into five pieces of meat, just one boar. So is it really worth it? Do you get good amounts of food out of it? That's basically what I want to know. Well built. All right. Let's get some water. Encouraging immigration. Well, happiness needs to go up towards 75. And then apparently we are able to get immigrants in. They make enough meat. All right, that's good to know because then we can get to the hunter at a certain point and unlock it. We have some dense forest here, so where we could place it if we want to and buy that zone. Or we could place it right here. I'll definitely check on it. I really like this kind of game, John. Thank you for the tips. Hasta luego. Oh, well, you're very welcome. And if you like games like this, where you have to build a city and stuff like that... Um, you could also check out Ostriff if you've heard about it. It's also an amazing city builder. I've been doing quite a few streams and videos about that too lately. Also great uh, city builder. Yeah, I know Rodok, thanks. I think, I'm think i thinking I'm going to build the hunter somewhere here, maybe even two, because we're not going to move here anytime quickly, so we can leave all the trees. And we should get a good amount of meat out of it. Might be a bit too far for them to walk, but uh, oh, we'll see, we'll see. For now, we first need to encourage immigration and hopefully get a few immigrants. I hope they can arrive by boat. And then we should get into the business for um, some planks so we can finish the bridge. But we definitely not make it easy for ourselves. Yeah, if you have a densely forested area, there should be lots of pork. Your villagers have needs. I know we can all. This is just information and we already know that. Stick a warehouse by the bridge. Um, well, we do need to know what the warehouse will do. If I build one, it will be on this side. Because it will have a negative effect on the desirability in this area. And this is going to be our town anyway. So it depends on what we're going to build there. Warehouses are there to store resources. And we do need to have resources to store there. Otherwise, a warehouse won't do that good. But uh, we'll see. 
63%. Food needs to go up and comforts. Well, there's plenty of berries, so they can all just buy them. Some need a house, then comfort will go up even further. Another house here. Come on. Get it up to 75%. There it is. House is done. Yeah, it doesn't have wars. I like the whole uh, fighting system in this game. You just send out your troops and that's it. I like that. Herbs will be available. Hmm, interesting. I guess we have to get the um, uh, monastery for the herbs. There we can grow herbs. Food and comfort. So just a few people need to buy some food. And then they should be happy enough. Apparently they're just not there to buy it. Ah, I know. They need two, two sources of food to actually get happy. So we need to finish all the housing. Then we can get up to 75. And then we will be able to get immigrants in. That should be it. And of course we can just go ahead and build a fishery. We have a fisher's hut. We can already continue with the extra source of food that we need. We only need 12, 12 wood, I believe. Or 20 wood. Oh, we have that. That's fine. Let's build a fisher's hut here. We can already add the fish to this. And then later on build a market stall once we have enough workers, of course. Because right now we don't. Luckily, we went up to speed 3 now for a bit. All the housing is done. Oh, come on. 5% happiness is needed. That's all. I hope we make it. I guess somebody needs to get into their house. Or, yeah, one person. Yeah, there we are. 75%. Profiting from trade. Build a warehouse. Acquire it, build it, and assign planks to a warehouse. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Immigration incentive is high, but I doubt they'll be coming in. We do need to build a warehouse now. Ah, yeah, we can get the sawmill now. That's good, because then we can start to produce planks. Should also build it in this area, I guess. So let's go. But yeah, then we do need a warehouse too. Good thing is, of course, we can use it to store logs and stone and planks so that'll be interesting we'll just build it right here so it's away from town and we do need the planks for it so that might take some time all right back to speed two because that's the usual speed keep an eye on them if they want to grow your village yes i know question is can we see immigrants walking anywhere i don't see them anywhere so i guess they can't reach our town so unfortunate. Well, let's finish this. Then get going with the um, bridge. Although it's going to take a very long time to build the bridge, actually. And from there on, we can continue. But right now, I don't even see immigrants walking anywhere. We should see the icon over their head. So there's no immigrants incoming. We really made it difficult for ourselves being a um, island nation. So it could well be that we are going to do a little bit speed three so that we can get off the island. So nice being an island nation, but um, very dumb if you want to get immigrants quickly. <laughs> oh, we'll deal with it. <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, you are an islander. You tell us about it. How is it? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. All right. All the resources are here. So the sawmill can get to work soon. Uh, we don't need that much stone, actually. So I'm going to get one of the stone miners. Yep. Get it out there. So that we have one worker for this. We also need a lot of wood, so we need the wood choppers we have in there. And other than that, we don't really have a lot of jobs available. 
I guess we can remove one of the builders after this is done. So that we can get... Oh wow, there's a floating beam here. Look at this in the construction. They put that beam up first and then the rest. Oh, that was interesting. All right, sawmill built. We can get at least one person in there, but we could get a few more, I hope. Question is where from? Well, we can remove one builder. And put that in the sawmill too. Then I think we should prioritize the bridge now. Or, yeah, because a trader also can't reach us. But I don't think we can... Uh, well, we have to prioritize every section of it. Interesting. Maybe that's something they can work on. Build a one button for prioritization. <laughs> ah, that's true, that's true. Resources missing. Yes, I know. Trying to create them and then they go to the bridge. We have two logs and they have two logs in here too. So they can actually make some planks. We can actually see them working on a plank. And there's a plank created. Two planks out of two logs at the same time. That's quickly. So that works. Yep, they're really busy. This one is sawing. This Oh, now the saw has disappeared. This one is hammering, but now the hammer disappeared. <laughs> All right, interesting. Well, we've got a few planks. The one builder that we have can start to build here, I guess. Yeah, four out of the 15 planks for the begin area are there. Oh boy, this is going to be a very lengthy process. Can we speed up even further? No. Okay. Well, at least we can start to uh, plan out things, I guess. Um, the main city should be here on this piece of the island. Maybe we can make it a little bit more interesting by dividing the place up. So this will be the main city with just, I don't know, the tailor and stuff like that. Maybe on a patch like this, we can do farms and interesting things like that. With a, a little village that goes with it, of course, for all the... Uh... Can you see how durable your tools are? Uh, no, because there is no tool durability in this game. So you just need tools every now and then to build a building. But people don't pick up tools and use it for production purposes or whatever. So um, uh, they just have the tools in here that they have. That's it. And um, nothing else really. Ooh, another question. Do we have enough trees left here to get enough planks to finish this? I think we should, but um, maybe we should build a forester and assign a new area for the forester. So that they can have trees close by. I think that's actually a good option now because the trees will take time to grow. Uh, no, I'm going to build it on this side because the forester can walk. That's fine. Build it. And then we can tell them to use this little area for reforestation. And afterwards, extraction. That way they don't have to walk that far anymore for new trees if they get to that point where it's ready. I guess that will be a good option now. Otherwise, it might get a bit hard, and especially if we run out of trees, we don't have the option to build any new ones anymore. So in case anyone of you is trying to start a town, don't start on an island. It will set you back quite some time before you can actually get off and, and do something uh, useful, but uh, we'll see. Waiting for a builder. Well, I should have builders. Oh, we have only one. Ah, is he doing anything yet? Oh, he's bringing two planks to this one. This one is prioritized. I guess we should now prioritize this one too then. Otherwise all the wood still goes to the sawmill. And we won't have anything to build the forester camp with. Um, let's pause production after this one. Yeah, let's pause production a bit because I do need to make sure that this gets done first. Um, otherwise it will just take way too long. 
Luckily, food-wise, we're okay. We gather plenty of berries, so that's no issue. We'll just keep gathering some stones. Once we have plenty of stones, I'll get this guy out too and put him in the lumber camp. To help out with some extra lumber. Ah, the first four woods already being brought. Interesting, interesting. Well, I make a habit sometimes for not making it too easy for myself. Same with Ostriff. I get a lot of comments about why I build houses without a gardens. And it's so much easier when you use houses with gardens and stuff like that. I do like to give myself a challenge every now and then. But, um, well, this is not really a challenge. It's just, it takes time. But at least now we know how Kevin feels on his island. And now I'm really happy that I don't live on an island. Ah, they built a little piece. Very good. The first piece is done. Nice. That saves already 15 planks. We needed 75 in total. Should now just be 60. And it's better. Building, bringing six wood. Perfect. All the wood is there. So we can unpause this. And get going with it. Then I guess we get the stone cutter out of the stone cutter camp and put it into the forester. That's the best way to go. So you stop working, dear sir or ma'am. Antilia, you can stop there. And you can go to work here. You can plant any tree you want. I don't really care as long as you just plant the trees. The one builder will do. Did it bring planks in already? I don't think so. Yeah, just one. Okay. Well, really sorry guys, but it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. Or we should restart, but that's not the way I do things. Uh, and I think in the end this could look like a very nice town since we started on the uh, island. That would make for a little bit of a different town. But it just takes a bit of time. Ah, there we go. I like this. Oh, that's great. I like it too. Plenty of trees being planted here. That should help the forester out. Or the uh, lumber camp. We get some more planks now. Yep, two more planks. Just another batch of two and they can finish another section of the bridge. So slowly we should see the bridge forming. And if these trees grow rather quickly, and I think they will, then we should be fine. <laughs> well, I'm not going to take it slow now. We're going to get keep the game up to speed at speed 3. But yeah, we have to wait now. Which is interesting. I did not think uh, it would go like this today, but uh, oh, it's fine. Oh boy, still a lot of bridge to build. Well, at least the forester is doing a nice job and we can actually see her work now. She brings quite a few trees to the area once she goes in to, uh, to plant them. So that's nice. And I don't even have to hold my mouse anymore at this point. We're just sitting and waiting and watching. The warehouse is standing ready to be built, although the resources aren't in yet. That might take some time. Yeah, just need 15 more planks. And we already have the fishery in place, so as soon as enough immigrants come in, we can get fishing, we can get more stones again. So I guess I guess it's all not all bad. We are prepared now, but um, we can even expand the residential area already a bit, so we have plenty of space for housing and know where it can be. Be all right here. And then I guess the church or something could go a bit like here. Maybe the manor lord here. What's top speed in game? Well, this is top speed in game. Can't go any faster than speed 3. Uh, which for now appears to be quite slow. But once you get a bigger town, it's actually... Uh, 
it's actually quite hard. Yeah, you have to promote them earlier and you can promote them by clicking on them. Uh, it should be. Then there should be, come on. There should be a way to promote them. So we'll see. We're not there yet. So, uh, but yeah, more and more different buildings need promoted villagers. So that's a nice add on. You can also see that we're losing a little bit of money now on upkeep. That's not what I want, but um, all right. We'll see. Is he going to... No, he's going to his house. Okay. Well, they take a long time now to actually get some trees here and bring them back. So as soon as they can start to chop here, that will speed things up considerably because the walking time is very long. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but I really, I, I just played the game for, uh, for the episode that I created that came online today and I did not go any further yet. So I have to discover that, but I thought that would be fun to do on stream. Uh, but I hope they improved the system where you have to, uh, beforehand you had to promote villagers to a certain status for some buildings, but it was very hard to actually do that and then replace them and then put them in the right building. So I hope they make that easier so that we can just promote a villager and put it in the right job. It was actually quite hard to manage that and I hope they make that easier. They can now chop trees here as we can see, which should speed up the lumber production big time, which it does because now all of a sudden we have 10 wood. So that helps and the uh, forester immediately comes in to plant a new forest. So that should go rather fast now. I like this because this should speed up the uh, production of planks. Alright, that's two more. Well, they should keep this going because that's very good. And yeah, build another section of the bridge already. Four planks available. And I think he was walking with two. No. Four planks. Yeah, he's bringing in two. And we still have two more. So yeah, oh, we're going to get there. Still saving up on some food. And of course, everybody, feel free to jump into chat if you want to. If you don't want to, just look around. But if you have any thoughts or things you want to see or tips or tricks, just let me know. I think I'm going to expand the market already to have the market stall there when we get the fish. I guess that might be an interesting option. Uh, yeah, let's put this on. Oops, we have to turn it around, of course. <laughs> that was a little bit misplaced. Yep, there it is. Let's build it. It's not prioritized anyway, so they can't rush it. But with the extra logs that we have, they can already start to build it. So we are totally prepared for when the actual new immigrants come in. Immigration incentive is still high. So could get like two immigrants or maybe even three at one go. That would really speed things up. What do you think the building to population ratio might be? Uh, well, right now, all these buildings only support two people. So we have five houses and ten people. Um, but this is a tier one density one. If we have the tier one density two house, then it can house six people. And uh, so far, that's how it went for all the different tiers of housing. So they can either house two people or six people. Uh, depending on, on the um, density it has. And of course, once the tiers goes up, the, the higher tier people also live there. Um, but it's either two or six. And it could well be that once immigrants come in, we will see one of the houses change or one new house gets built that can actually house six people. I have not seen houses for like three, four or five people. Usually it's just two or six in uh, as far as I know. 
right, still having good amount of wood. We have some planks to spare. Hopefully he can carry five planks at one go so he can just build a whole section. Yeah, he can do that. So he can build a whole section. We can't scroll anymore. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections to be built. Already have the planks for one. So well, we're getting there with the bridge. Now, the game is known for bugging every now and then with bridges. So it could be that once this bridge is done, it still doesn't work and they won't use it. But fingers crossed, it doesn't bug out this time. So they actually can use it and we can get immigrants. And of course, I hope that this is the right side for immigrants. Because if it's this way, then we still have a problem. Uh, but I think immigrants should be able to come in from either way. But I'm not sure if they thought about that. I desperately hope so. But yeah, I think so, because otherwise you can only start on one side on a map like this, and that should not be the case. But uh, the big and small houses were already in the game beforehand as well, in, in the Density 2 ones. So they are there for a long time. But, um, well, right now it's one house for every two people. Meaning they can't... I think that's one of the things that I miss in this game. They can't have kids. We should have kids in this game. It's just you get immigrants in. And immigrants go out. Nobody dies. Can't have kids. In that aspect, this game is missing a few things for, for my liking. But um, still a very fun, interesting game, of course. But that would be a nice addition. Alright, you got another four planks. <laughs> oh boy, not going to comment on that. All right, we need 21 more planks and we're there with the bridge. 21 more planks. Infinite water, always nice. Well, we can keep happiness up because we have all the houses and we have one type of food. As soon as we have immigrants, we get the second type of food. We can get it up to even 100%. But they'll probably be wanting the church soon too. Hello, Jerry Prince. Nice of you to join us here. How are you today? I hope all is well. Nice to stop by this stream. Low desirability. Well, I would live in a house like this. I like it. Looks very cool, I have to say. Another three planks ready and four sections to be built. Five planks ready, that's good. So we can build a whole new section already. Hard day at work, but doing fine. Well, that's good to hear that you're doing fine. And, uh, well, sometimes a day's hard work can be very nice too. I hope you have an enjoyable job. Uh, here, everything is fine. Thanks for asking. All good. Having fun with the stream. Uh, we started on an island, which uh, made it quite uh, hard for us. Because, of course, we can't get immigrants in on the island. Because they don't bring their own uh, blow-up boat. So, uh, we're building the bridge now. Which took some effort, but we're almost there. And then we can finally welcome immigrants into our town. We'll post a roadhog near the bridge so that he can say which immigrants can come in and which can't, of course. Because, uh, well, can't have everybody in, I guess. And I know roadhog doesn't want that. So he can be the bridge guard. And then we can finally start growing. All right, let's see. This will cost us 25 and decorations also 25. So we'll get to this soon. I hope. Ooh, two more sections after this one. So funny how you can stand on this side and build a bridge coming all the way from this side. Very interesting. But we're almost there and another batch of five planks is ready. So finally, we can start to slow down a bit soon with this game. So we can uh, run at the usual speed, speed 2. 
But we can also then enjoy a bigger growing town. I can see six likes already to this video. Thank you all so much for hitting that like button. I hope you really enjoy it. Oh yeah, they just need to bring in the wood here. Albinet is bringing five planks. So the first three jobs will be somebody for the stone camp, somebody in the builder's office, because we need two builders then, because we can finally start to build again. And then we get to the fisher's hut. Hello Heath Clark, good afternoon or evening to you too. Thank you. How are you today? What have you been doing? Nice of you to stop by the stream. One section. We have six planks to spare. So uh, we can finish the bridge. Perfect. Then we get to the warehouse soon. Immigration factor still high. Perfect. Let's keep it up that way. Is this a continuation of the town you released on the episode earlier? Nope, 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 it's not. I will do a separate YouTube series on a different map, that is. Right here we um, started this uh, 46 minutes ago. We started on an island, which looks very nice, but it's quite hard. That's why we built the bridge now, so we can finally get some immigrants in. We'll have to wait another six days, but then they should be incoming, and we can finally start growing. Um, so, uh, yeah, it took some time, but now finally... We should be getting immigrants in. I hope that works. Five more days. And then uh, we'll see. I don't see any immigrants coming in yet. I think the bridge was done a bit too late for them to already come in. So this is the landscape that we've created with the map generator. I love the map generator, by the way. It's really cool. And um, we're going to try to fill up this island with a nice little town. And of course, expand to all the other sites. That's basically the whole idea. And then we'll see. I love all the new updates that came out so far. All right, we need some more lumber in here. And then we can finish this. How is this faring along? I oh, just need some planks. This game on my wish list for a while, but love Ostrif and still don't have enough time to play there. <laughs> yeah, there are so many very fun games out at the moment, especially if you like city builders. Father's Frontier also is a very nice game. Together with Foundation and Ostriff. Although I have to say Foundation and Ostriff are both already in development for quite a long time. But they actually keep developing them and keep making them better. Which I love so much. Um, there are quite a few games out there that they will bring out for in early access. And once they've taken everybody's money, they just stop developing it because they're not selling enough new one new copies i guess they'll just abandon it and we ha all have an unfinished game but these are real game lovers they create these games like ostrif and this so they keep developing it which is perfect just admit patmos you saw all the berries and stone on the island and thought that this is going to be easy oh well uh if i was thinking that i would have admitted it but that's not what i have admitted i did not really take a look at that i just thought it would be nice to do something different than I usually do because, well, of course, usually I just start somewhere on the coast with all the nice resources and stuff. So I actually thought, let's just do it different this time. Let's start on the island. Not thinking about the fact that I had to build a bridge first before we could get immigrants. So um, it, I'm not going to admit something that's not true. So yeah, I won't do that. But uh, I, admit it, I admit that I totally forgot about the fact that we had to build a bridge for the immigrants. So, uh, but it's fixed now. There they come in. And I think we immediately get like three or four, three at least, maybe four. Yeah, I think four immigrants, so that should be very good. Yeah, that's very true, that's very true. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, so happy with these people now. Let's go give them jobs. We need a fisherman. We need a miner. We need another builder because we're going to have to build houses now too. And now we still have one to spare. Well, that should then go into the market stall. So we can sell the fish and get happiness up to 100. And then... Ah, Kevin, watch this. Now you can see this house is now becoming house density 2. And now it can house 6 people in total. It will be housing 5 out of 6 soon. 
Uh, so there's still room for one more. But here you can see the difference. So, um, just a little tier up, and there it is. It, or not a tier up, a density up. And all the others just remain at their normal density. There's also a new house coming up here, which will be just for two occupants. Uh, so this is a density one. But those are basically the different types. I don't know if they already created a density three. I don't think so, because I did not really read about it. Would be interesting if we could also get houses to up like 10 people or something. Although it would not be a house, but more of an apartment building, I guess. But, uh, oh, that could be interesting. Ah, and we're building the warehouse. So we can finally start storing some goods. Well, I guess soon we'll have to build a church. People will be asking for it. Happiness going down. Yeah, they already ask for services. They ask for more food. And a food shortage. Food shortage. We have plenty of berries. Well, we'll deal with that soon. Let's see. We need some wood in here. Some planks in here. We need some stone in here. And tools. Just in case we need to buy them. Planning a trade route. I have to prepare a trade route to benefit. Unlock a trade route through planks. Ah. So we're going to have to unlock a trade route, which is interesting, but we need 20 planks to unlock this one. One of the new changes they did, um, for those who've played the old version of this game, you can now buy and sell a lot more goods from different towns. They added an extra town to it, which is also very nice. So um, there's now more, more trade to be done, actually. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. So uh, we'll get into the trading business soon. Newcomers, two more. Nice. One can go into this. I think we also need one extra in the granary now. Because we also have to collect all the fish. I'm going to set this one up to do even more berries. Um, and we're going to build an extra berry gatherer. Because um, you can have two berry gatherers, of course, with one berry bush. And not run out all the time. Uh, I'm going to place... Yeah, I'm going to place it a little bit out of the way. Right here. But then we'll get more berries. So that will be very nice. We can use the extra amount of food that now that our village is growing. Oh, is it on discount right now? Yeah, money's always tight. That's very true. But uh, yeah, if you, this, is, this is really a good game. And if you still have doubts, just watch a few streams, I guess, about it. Or a few YouTube videos. You can really see what the game is about. And determine if you want to get it. But if you like these types of games, then this is really a go-to game. Um, there's so many different things that you can buy and, and, and stuff like that. So that should be really nice. Oh, 25% discount right now. Well, I guess it's... I believe it's like 25 euros normally or something like that. So... Um, which is not the biggest price, of course. I mean, there are like 80 euro games out there these days. They make them really expensive, especially the big hyped games. But uh, yeah. Well, if you want it, go get it. If not, then don't. Yeah, well, always... Uh, it's totally up to you, of course, so don't feel any pressure or whatever. It's it's your money. I'm not getting anything if you buy it, so um, you should just decide for yourself. Two, three more immigrants incoming. Well, they're coming. I guess they really want to join this town. Four, actually. Ooh, very good. People really want to live here. Yeah, that's true. The hype games usually uh, disappoint big time. Because people just are so hyped about them. Alright, let's get another forager. Let's get another miner. Let's get another transporter. And another builder. Let's see if we can get another type of food. For that we need to buy... Butchering. But then we can get some extra food out here. Ooh, there's a lot of boar here. Only two there. But here we can have four different boar zones in one go. Uh, I hope it's not too far away so that they can still uh, live there or go there without... Uh... Oh, of course, we have to set a hunting zone too. Well, we can make a big hunting zone, maybe even add another hunter to this soon. 
Perfect. Well, plenty of space there for hunting. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this extraction zone. They can do this later. I want the trees removed here now so that we have a clear building site. And then later on we can continue uh, with these trees. <laughs> well, very true, very true. Um, I just love these little games. These are usually better than uh, the big games. Always baffles me sometimes when you buy one of the big titles. How many bugs and stuff is in there that you're like, did they not test that or something? And then you have these little game studios or these solo developers like in Ostriff. They make a game. Of course, there's a bug every now and then. They usually fix it very fast. And it's just such a good, well thought of game. Why can't the big studios build that? But apparently that's quite hard. All right, we need a butcher. Oh, they don't like the butcher. Well, we can build the butcher here by the uh, road then. Oh, I did not know the butcher had such a undesirable area around it, but we can just build it right here then. And then we can bring the meat in here. Ah, more people incoming. Guess we, um, can we already get some taxes going? No, not yet. Ah, I want to tax my people. I need money. All right, let's expand this one already then so that we can get the meat selling soon. Builds perfect. All right. Well, we're spending more and more money. Planning a trade route. That should be something, but we still only have 80 planks, eight planks. So we need up to 20. Once we do that, we're good. It just takes too long to actually cut those trees now. So we're going to reinstate this one so that they can do a short walk and get a few trees. Can we already buy a free territory? No. Okay. Well, it really depends, of course, on, on why people build a game. I mean, the big studios, of course, build a game mostly just for sales, not for the fun of the game or whatever. If you take the guys building Ostriv, they just love to build that game, to put all the Ukrainian history in it, to make all the buildings accurate and things like that. That's what their focus is, building a good game. And uh, I guess a lot of studios just go for the money. That's why they build a certain game. Let's add three foragers. Let's add a woodcutter and let's add a carpenter. Oh, we don't have any free people anymore. Butchery build. Nice. The butchery is done now. All we need now is this hunter's hut. Oh well, don't need to put any butchers in there because we're not going to get any meat soon. Oh, so many buildings need to be built. We're still a bit short of wood. Maybe we should get the extra forester now. Or not the forester, a lumberjack. so that we can get the extra trees out. We do need them. Ten planks to spare. So as soon as we have 20, we can start up the trade route. Then we can get to buying some tools, but also trading some goods away. Oh, lumber camp built. That was fast. Let's put a worker in there. And then hopefully... Yeah, we do have enough food now. So next thing up should be the church and the housing. Oh, they need a lot of wood for all of this. Still 10, still 8. So having the extra wood people, wood choppers will be good. Yeah, that's true. But I think you can see that in a lot of different places. So... Um 
Uh, I mean, even even with, on, on, on things like YouTube and stuff, you can easily see which YouTubers are out there just to make a lot of money. And who just love the game and, and, and try to make some money with that. And that's basically in all aspects of life. You can easily, sometimes easily see who's out there for the money and who's out there for making a difference. I mean, as most of you know, uh, Wifey is a uh, sign language teacher. And she works for a lot of different organizations that help to educate uh, deaf people, of course, in sign language. And there's a big difference between those organizations. Some are really there to help clients and make sure that they learn the language so that they can go out more and, and uh, feel more free and stuff like that. And yes, that costs money, but they'll do that and they can make money off that. And there are also organizations that are all about making the money and they don't really care about... Uh, the deaf people that really need to learn sign language it's just that they want to make money and that's a shame sometimes because well things could be a lot better if they wouldn't be in it like that oh well i guess it's it's in the nature of most people to actually help out but the question is, to what extent? Just the ones close around you? Do you go a bit further away? Or where do you end with, with helping out? All right, I think we have enough to um, set up the trade route. Yep, there we go. Let's set it up. So we have this one done. And we can now start to buy tools. We can sell some berries. Uh, I'm not going to sell all berries, of course. But we're going to sell everything above 250 or something like that, since we have that. All right, there we go. What else do they want? Stones, planks. Oh, we can sell some meat if we want to, but I don't want to yet. We could buy some tools from them, uh, because we are going to need tools. Uh, I'm going to set it up to 20, and that's what we're going to buy. All right, so... Uh, let's hope that we can sell some berries. Uh, should we clear one of these out for the butcher? I think so. So let's empty this stock and then we can get to uh, putting some meat in there. Allow the sale of planks from the trade resource. Ah, we also have to sell planks. Um... Well, then I'm just going to set it up to sell all above 100 because we're not going to reach 100. That's fixed. All right, let's see. Advice, the manor house. Let's put this advice into practice. We now need to build a manor house. A house for ourselves. Yeah, it's an interesting trade screen. Um, I think it might still need a little bit of work. But yeah, you can just set things up. Either buy it until they reach a certain amount, sell it until they reach a certain amount, or do nothing with it. Uh, the interesting thing is you can always just click it away so the, the, the item remains, but they won't buy it anymore, and now they will. So you can easily change it out. But it's a bit hard sometimes. You really have to go around to check, like Northbury, what are they wanting to buy? And then you can set that up and actually see if they want it or not. So that's a bit limiting. You can't just sell everything everywhere. All right, let's start setting up our manor house. Uh, maybe our manor house should go by the coast. It will help desirability in this area, and I want a coastal view. Let's build a great hall. All right, there we go. I'll get into that uh, in, a, in a minute, Heath. I'll just build this and then we can go into that. All right, this should be the big hole. There should be an entrance here, but the entrance should be on the ocean side, of course. Let's tell everybody that comes in to visit me right here. There we go. All right, this should be built now. Uh, let's see, question was... Have you tried the modded maps? Oh, for farming simulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Is it set up for every town? Yeah, so if you fill this in, this is just what you and your town want to sell and how you want to sell, how much you want to sell. So that goes for all these different trades, uh, villages. So basically how it works is, I see if there's one in town right now. No, there's no trader here. So a trader will come by. Uh, he will visit your town. He will use the road. Then he comes to your town. He goes to visit your granary and your uh, storage right there. And then he will buy goods or not, depending on what you sell. Now, for every different village, there is one different trader. Uh, so... Um, a trader for Northbury will come in and he will try to uh, sell us this and he will buy this from us. If the trader from Middle comes in, then he will try to sell us this and buy that. So that's how it works. So even if the trader comes, it might be the one from this town and we're not selling anything to them. So uh, that's not good, no good. Um, and you can uh, recognize the trader by a guy or a girl with a big uh, basket on his back. So a big box on his back. That's the trader. Uh, if we see him soon, I will zoom in on him so you can see him. And he'll just visit your town, then leave again and buy or sell you any goods. That's basically how it works. Now, we can also see that our trade route is now just level 1. So in total, the um, trader that comes in can only uh, buy 20 and sell us 50 goods. Or uh, no, he can only um, trade 25 goods in total. If we buy 20 goods from them in a month and sell them 50 goods, then we can upgrade the trade route and he can carry bigger amounts. So you can even upgrade trade routes by selling and buying a lot and then they can carry more stuff, which can be interesting. Ah, here he comes. You can see the trader here. So there he is. He has these hands above his head and you know it's the trader. If you click him, you'll see this is a trader from Northbury. He carries these goods. And this is what uh, we can buy from them. And this is what he wants to buy from us. So in this case, we're going to try and buy tools. So we should be able to buy 11 tools from him. So I think we'll just follow him. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. Follow the trader. With this little button, we can follow him. And then we can see the changes. So there he goes. I think he'll go to the... Uh, yeah, there he goes. To the warehouse. And then he should be selling us tools. And we should immediately say, see a change in our money. So yeah, there he goes. He sold us tools. He now only has 15 with him. We now have 24 tools, 20 tools, so we're using them. Uh, but yeah, we bought some tools from them. He should also be buying some berries from us. Let's see about that. Yep, he bought 25 berries from us. And now he's leaving again and he goes off to another town. And once you unlock another town, a trader from that town will also come. They will just come by regularly. So you don't have to watch them all the time, but they will just stop by every now and then. Let's get a hunter, by the way, and a butcher now. So that we can actually get some meat. Let's get somebody in the workplace then. All right, that starts working. So that's basically how the trader goes. They just come by, buy and sell whatever they want, and then they go away. But the interesting thing is you can just set this up. If you see you have a surplus of wine, you can just set it up and then check whether there's a town that actually wants to buy it. In this case, if we would have had wine, we can sell it to Northbury. So then we could do that. Oh, you're in for a lot of fun then. You have a nice weekend. I hope the weather won't be too good. Otherwise, you might be tempted to go outside. So wishing you lots of rain so you can have lots of fun with foundation. <laughs> yeah, you might just run into a foundation addiction soon. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get the extra miner. There we get some extra stones, hopefully. Building another house here. So yeah, we have 32 people now. I guess after the manor house, we should get the uh, church. Building another house here too. No resources to extract. Ah, so now we ran out of berries. But quite soon, this should grow back. At least that was the case. Maybe they tweaked that a bit. 
But uh, well, we have plenty of berries anyway. And it should not take too long for them to come back again. Labor prospect tier reach. New content available. Oh, wow. Pros Kingdom prospect, clergy. All right. So we've now unlocked the estates. That's cool. Uh, let's focus on that. We should all expire to greatness. Uh, yeah, we should do that. Defining a village aspiration. Where should our village head for? Well, we'll see soon. So we've unlocked the different tiers. We already had the common path, so we unlock this. But now for the different estates in our little nation, the laborers, the kingdom and the clergy, we have unlocked the first steps. So we can now get better market uh, pieces. We can get a hatch. I don't know, still know why they have this item there for the hatch, but that's okay. We can get the keep unlocked and we can get the monastery unlocked. So plenty of stuff to get. It will be very interesting. Not going to unlock anything right now, but uh, we'll get to that. That will be so much fun. Put back the building density. Gives you later more room in the town. Um, oh, you, I, you, you're saying that I should make sure that they have more space to build something. Or, or I mean, there's still plenty of space in town, I guess. I think we can also always just delete a house and they'll just build a new one. I wouldn't really mind. But maybe we should do that. Oh, that's probably what you mean. Get rid of this around the uh, manor house so that we can expand that a bit more. The little arrow under villagers. Ah, villagers, villagers, villagers. The little plus. Tracking. Upgrade. Densification. Allow houses to increase, thus permitting them to rebuild with a higher capacity. You want me to turn that off? Alright, I'll do that. That's fine. You demand a lot of housing, I guess. Interesting. Village aspirations. Alright, what should be our village aspiration? This is the log. Prosperity. Oh, we'll get that later. Village aspirations are optional objectives. Yeah, I know. Action bar by clicking on the trophy icon. All right, let's get a village aspiration filled. Dedicated to the labor. Never generate revenue from trade routes. Ah, we feel that's fine. So which should we get? Never promote a villager to the next status. Nah. We're just going to go with this easy one. That's fine. To our prosperity. All right, we're going to start ruling our own village. That should be nice. Mandates. Discuss a levy with your villagers. Interesting. Promote villagers to a higher status. Open the list. We can now start to promote villagers. Very nice. Uh, call off promotions. We're not going to promote them yet. We'll do that later. You will profit from it later. Ooh, can you explain why? Because that's interesting, but I don't really know why I would do that. Favoring an estate. Uh, our church will be deprived of the clergy. Our manor houses will serve all the laborers. Or our forts will be the vanguards of the kingdom. Alright, which one should we take? Should we go for the clergy, the laborers or the kingdom? Or should I continue on my own? Please let me know, chat. I want to know. Should we focus on a state or should we just try and please them all for a bit? And if I should focus, which one should I focus on? That will be interesting. Should leave this open right now. Let's just go click these away. Yep, that's fine. 
Just anxious to hear what chat wants me to do. Kimberly, nice of you to join us. The clergy, it would be nice to see a monastery. Okay, well, that's one vote. So that's interesting. Let's see what the others have to say. But yeah, the good vote, good vote. Interesting. In the meantime, please enlighten us. How are you doing? Please them all. So I should continue on my own. Then we can please them all, I guess. And then we can still build a monastery. It's not that you cut off any of these. Um, we can still do that. We can just unlock the monastery and build a monastery and a fort and all the other stuff. So um, that should be interesting. I guess um, Kevin gets the final vote. We have one vote for clergy and one vote for please them all on your own. All right. Sorry, Kimberly, but we're going to go on our own. I'm doing good. Had an early supper. How are you and everyone in chat? All fine here. And I believe the others are too. All right, we're going to continue on our own. But we have to build a church. Um, they upped the amount of people that can be in the church, which is interesting. I'm going to build a church right here. So to make sure that we uh, serve all the houses in there. Oh, now it does lock again. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's build a church. Can now house 45 people, I believe, so that should be interesting. We have a visitor, a message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. I'm not humble, but I am a servant right now. True. All right, we got 100 coins. I like that. There he goes, running away on his horse. Bye-bye, mister on the horse seat. All right, let's check the granary, because they should be emptying this out, but they're not really doing that. So we'll unassign. Are you sure you want to unassign this slot? 100 bears will be lost. Oh no, that's not what we need. I guess we just need an extra granary. That might be the better option. Because then we can just store extra goods. If we build it somewhere here. We can have extra food in it. Also from fisheries that go here. And it has an easy way here towards the butcher. And the market stall guy can get it easy. So that should be a good spot. I think we can just leave this in then. We can soon get the fish out, put it in here together with all the meat. Then we'll have this granary for the meat. That should be nice. They will take now more room to build. So later you have room for decorations. Ah, that's a very good one. We're gonna need decorations later on. That's very good. Thanks. That's a good... Yeah, I did not think of that. All right, we have some meat to spare. That's good. I guess the hunter right now is losing quite some time with all the traveling it has to do. So we will build another part of town here somewhere later on, but not now. Finally starting to grow this little bit. Still no free territories. We actually make a bit of money now. Nice. And there comes the church, or at least a little part of the church. Happiness is up to 80%. And with services, with the church service, we should get it up to close to 100 so at least we'll have a happy village. We have three workers without a job. That's something we should do something about. Let's get an extra miner, extra carpenter, and an extra... Uh, no, not an extra transporter. I'm going to keep that one for the granary here. Ah, we have two more. Interesting. Well, there we can put one extra in there. One extra in here. We'll just leave one open for the extra granary. I guess we could also invest in an extra builder. We have this one up here that can help out with all the building here. If we build one here too, it can also go across the river once we start to build uh, on the other side of the river. So I guess one here would also help out. And we can put extra builders in there. Let's put one in. That should be nice. Here comes the church. Oh, that looks good. Hopefully. Yeah, they have almost all the resources. Just one, two, and two planks. Then everything is in. There come the two planks. So we should get everything from this soon. And weekly attendance. Zero out of 45. So we can have attendance now. So people can go to church. That should get happiness up. 
I guess all they need now is the door. Yep, we don't have a door yet. Once that's in, they can really get in. So yeah, just waiting for a builder now. There it comes. And then we have the door and we have our first church. And we should have a pretty desirable area here. Yeah, this whole area is pretty green. People like to live there. Church is done. Another courier is approaching. Probably the clergy. Going to tell us how pleased they are with us that we now have a church. Well, they should be pleased. Still want to get some extra zones soon though. So uh, we'll buy either this part of the island or this part. Get the extra berries up. Move the stone industry away from the village center. And then continue onwards with the town. There comes the messenger. Hello. Words of your village first church have reached the clergy. They appreciate your dedication to the fate and thus hold you in higher regard. All right, we get 10 coins. And with those coins, we can later on buy some stuff. So that's nice. Or will we get influence? Not really coins. Let's see. The monastery, the rustic church, stone wall. All right, interesting, but not going to get anything. We do need an extra fishery to keep up the fishing production. Uh, I think there's no fish here. There's only fish there. And there's some more there. All right, so it should go somewhere here. So that we keep having enough fish to feed everybody. And now building this granary. How long before you think about soldiers? Uh, well, I have soldiers in my mind all the time. No, just kidding. Um, when can we get soldiers? Um, kind of depends on the amount of villagers that we have. So basically everybody is quite happy now. If we would just save up on immigrants a bit so all the jobs are fulfilled and we have some villagers to spare, we can make them soldiers once we build the keep. And that could be interesting uh, because then they can start to train and then we can send them out. But, ooh, common path busy tier. Okay. So we've reached the next common path. So we can unlock things like clothing, the tavern, farming, stonemason. So that's all really interesting. Um, but talking about the soldiers, I guess... Um, If we want to train our soldiers, we need cloth to actually make those little dummies that they can train on. So we need to get at least up to sheeps and clothing so that we can make sure that we can train up our soldiers. So I guess clothing industry will be next. And then we can go for the fortress somewhere up the hill or whatever and make sure that we can train our soldiers up, then send them out on missions and get those ni nice rewards. Um, I think it's actually nice to have a goal. So let's go for that. Let's unlock the clothing industry. We get the sheep farm, the weaver and the tailor. And from there on, we can move towards getting the uh, actual big fortress up here. Now, of course, we also need to give the sheep a place. And I think this might be a good place for sheepies, actually. So let's just purchase this zone. It'll be 250 coins. So we don't have a lot of coins to spare. How expensive is this? 25 coins, 50 coins, 50 coins. So we need 125 coins just to build all of these. So it might be wise to not buy the zone. Because then we won't have enough coins to actually get all of this. If we get this and start selling some more goods, maybe we should focus first on trading a bit more. We sell them berries. We can also sell them planks, some meat, but I think we need to keep some meat too. Some polished stone. We can sell them polished stone. Uh, but we have to unlock polished stone too, which will also cost us 50. Interesting. Um, so it's actually quite hard to make a decision right now. What I am going to do, we're going to go with the clothing now because we have that now. We're just going to build two sheep farms right here. They, they don't have to, uh, 
be that interesting. Then we can build one weaver and one tailor in town. Just right here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And hopefully sell some clothing as well. Not just produce it, but also sell it. And that should make us some more money. And this should keep villagers more happy with the clothing. And that should help out. Let's prioritize these so we at least start to produce some wool already before we get the weaver and the tailor. And then I think that should be okay. Then later on we buy this zone. We build a big fortress up on the hill. Because the soldiers are a good way to make money. But I also think right now... Yeah, still only the budget. There's still no way for us to get taxes going. Uh, we need a tax office, I guess. Can we change this up and build a treasury? We can build a treasury already. But I don't think that will help make sure that we get more more money. Well. At least let's build it. How much does it cost? Just some goods. Okay. I actually don't really remember how to get into... Taxing. Do we only have to get the bailiff? Or do we have to do something with the kingdom? Do you remember, Roadhog? When can I get some taxes going? I thought I already was able to get taxes to start taxing everybody. Not so far. Hmm. Interesting. Fish is above 100. That's true. Um, but I don't think these will buy it, no. Once we get clothing and we get enough clothing, these will buy it. So that's a good thing. They will also buy clothing. So let's set those up already. We'll set it up to 100. Oops, that's a bit too far. Like this. And same with fish, up to 100. And sales. So we're not selling it yet, but we will do that soon. This is done, so let's put the fish in here. All the fish. And all the meat. And then we can hopefully soon sell that. Uh, I'm going to get the fish out of this one. And then put the more berries in there, so we can have even more berries. Ooh, they're constructing these now. Taxing is now later in the game. Yeah, it would be nice to... Uh actually start making advice let's go on with promotion we'll promote a villager soon mandates promote a villager to a higher status well we have a few let's do a builder or two or yeah two conclude promotions we have upgraded people Too bad we can't see where we get taxes, because that would be very nice if we could see that. But we'll see. You can see it under Common Progress. Hello, Nivarsh. Hello from Durban, South Africa. Well, a very warm welcome to you in Durban, South Africa. And, well, a warm welcome from Holland here, or the Netherlands, or whatever people want to call it, so I don't angry them. How are you, Nivarsh? I hope everything's fine. We can see it under the common path, so let's see where taxes come in. Sturdy materials. Log trade. The people are working hard to improve the land, you're then screwing into a wonderful place. Oh well, I don't really see it, I guess. Taxation. But uh, we'll find, we'll find out. It should be fine. Uh, oh, more people in. We can get sheeps now. One, two, three, four, five. Don't abuse the system. I don't abuse the system. I just want sheep. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the weaver. Perfect. Let's get two people weaving. 
if they can ah we need commoners for that that's the problem okay um let's promote a few villagers the unemployed ones that's smart one two three we'll promote all three because then we can put two people into weaving and one as a tailor because they need to be commoner plus and then they can start to produce clothing and cloth now then we need to expand the market of course to get into goods but we need to unlock that too so if you've played the game a long time ago and you start playing it again just know that it got a little bit more complicated so usually you could just build everything and now we have to unlock things like this um this will be the red market tent the blue market tent and the green market tent but we also now need to unlock trading goods which are probably somewhere in here yeah the goods stall so we need 50 coins to unlock the goods stall so that we can actually sell the clothing that we are producing now so right now we're not able to ah the first wool is incoming very nice that should be producing the first batches of clothing the treasury is now built Select a mandate. No. Discuss a levy with your villagers. Discuss. You summon the people at the Great Hall to discuss a potential levy. That should be the tax. The villagers don't look too happy about giving away their hard earned coins, but you know they will pay if they have to. It has to be done. Happiness bonus of minus 30% for villagers with villager profile. We gain 120 from your serfs and 20 from our commoners. So they will be unhappy, but we get coins. Question is, how long does this take? Will the happiness bonus remain for a long time or not? Ah, glad to hear all is good, Nifash. Um, do you have experience with this roadhog? Will the unhappiness, but uh, the happiness downside, go away quickly, or or will it remain all the time until the? Um this could be interesting because this could give us some extra coin. I'm not going to do that straight away. Uh, I changed my mind. Let's not do that straight away. But it could be a way to generate some coin at the expense of some happiness. I guess it will be a temporary happiness downside. I mean, if it's permanent, then nobody would use it, of course. But it will be interesting to keep our eyes on that. Did all the fish get out of here? Yes, so we can now change this into berries. Just take it, it works fine. Well, it would mean extra money, so that can help out. All right, let's discuss it and let's take the money. All right, we can immediately see how long it will take, the levy mandate, but now we have some extra coinage to use. Uh, which we can use to buy the goods market. That's what I want. So we can actually start to sell clothing as soon as we produce it. The goods market. Here we go. Well, this should go in between the tailor and the weaver. I guess that's a nice spot to sell these uh, pieces of clothing. So let's go. Let's build it. Should be quite interesting. Yeah, we'll retrieve it. Nice how the game has developed from the original one. Yeah, it's really nice, but it's also hard sometimes because you think you know the game and you think you know where it's going. And then all of a sudden we uh, need to change things up and, and make sure that now it goes with how it works right now. But it's a really interesting game and I love it a lot. We have 50 meat. It's in the butchery. We need to put transporters in here. That might help. So they can get it. There we go. Let's start transporting the meat. Getting good amounts of wool now. We even have some clothing already. Interesting. They're still building houses. No, they're done. All right, that's good. Ah, the levy mandate. It was 33, 30% or 35%. It's now already down to 26. So it is going to what going away. Ah, okay. Okay, interesting. Well, it's good that you know the game too, so you can help me out every now and then. But yeah, it will go away, the levy mandate. So we can just take the money and not care about it. 
Ah, I guess we bought some tools. That's why we have a little negative balance there. Market stall scored build. All right, so we can now start to sell clothing. We just need a worker. So let's hope a few new people come in soon. Ah, no, that's a trader. Having plenty of meat and fish now. Housing insufficient. Ah, we probably need to get a little bit more residential space here. Um, desirability is very high. Yeah, I get that. I would want to live in this town too, but not everybody can. Well, that's what I love most about this chat and also about the channel. There's a lot of people... Let's keep this clear of housing, by the way. The road. Uh, there's a lot of people responding to videos giving out new tips and tricks and stuff like that. I really like that. And I'm really grateful for all the help and support I get. So, yeah, I love it that we can all help out each other and, and not just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to say, but it's just... it's. It's like a real cooperation. We do this together. We have a lot of fun in chat. I do a bit of gaming. We help out each other. Very nice. Nine boars. All right, so the butcher can really go to work. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, it's better together, Heath. That's very true. Better together. All right, a church can house 45 people. It's working fine, it says. Weekly attendance is quite high, but we might need an extra church soon, or at least expand it. Because we have more villagers now, and not everybody is... Uh, service is still fine. Goods, comfort, and entertainment. So we just need a few extra workers. Get some hands, make sure that we uh, sell the clothing now. There comes some extra people. Some much needed hands. Guess we also need somebody in the extra fishery, yes. How many jobs do we have available? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well, plenty of jobs available still to keep everybody happy. We still have the housing insufficiency, but that's probably for the people living here. They want a house close by, but they'll just have to wait a bit. We will build a little part of town here later on, but it's a bit too early for that right now. Just want to keep expanding a little bit. There we go. All right, let's get somebody in the market and somebody in the fishery to get the extra fish to sell. 20 pieces of clothing. That means that we can unlock the trade route. Let's do that before they start selling the clothes. All right, we have unlocked another trade route. Um, we can now buy a whole set of new goods, but we can also now sell some extra goods. We can sell some fish, some clothing now. So, quite happy with that, actually. <laughs> and laugh at each other's mistakes. <laughs> well, then I guess you usually get a good laugh, so that should be interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's true. We can all laugh and have fun. I don't mind. Tavern. Place to entertain villagers with fancy meals. Hmm, interesting. Farming, but we don't have space for it. I think we should go for the stones soon, because we can also sell these. And we'll need them later on. And we should also get a bailiff to prospect for resources. Trade and upkeep. Yeah, we're not really uh, making a lot of money via trade. So that should be changed a bit. Ah, very true, very true. We're all very kind to each other, even when we have fun. Yeah, let's get the stone, dude. We have plenty of stones anyway, so let's make some polished stone and sell them. Uh, all the stones are stored in the uh, place right there. We'll move the industries up later. For now, it's fine. Let's get a polished stone. Do oh, 25 coins that we even don't have. Guess we need to do another levy soon. <laughs> It did really get a lot harder to make money in this game since they uh, changed it up. But it's interesting because it was pretty easy and now you just have to make an effort, which is good, I think. They should just not make it too hard, of course. Kingdom.
This has to do with taxes, but we can't do any taxes yet. So that's interesting. Clergy, the laborers, tax office. Ah, here it is. We need 30 prosperity that we have, and we need five points with the laborers. Then we can get this and we can get tax going. So what we should do is build the stonemason, of course, but we should unlock the market splendor package so we can get some splendor points. With that, we can get a better rating and then we can start to unlock tax offices. All right, found it. That's where we're heading. Gonna get some taxes soon. We made a little bit of money trading. Which is nice. Did we already set up the polished stone? I don't think so. Because these will buy polished stone for three. I'm just going to sell all polished stone. I don't care. I just want to make money there. And we all of a sudden have 50 coins. Alright, let's get two people in. But now that we have 50 coins... Let's get going with the Splendor package. There we go. All right. Um, missing raw materials. That's fine. There's still so many things we need to do. Let's get the extra transporters in. Uh, let's see. The Splendor package. That should mean that we should now be able to change up a few buildings. Um, now that's one of the hard parts. Sometimes it doesn't work the way I want it to. The market stall scored. Yeah, we can now get tents and that give us splendor. The basic tent doesn't give us any splendor. So maybe we uh, should remove the basic tent if we can. I don't want to destroy the entire building. But uh, yeah, we should put a tent over here. We should put a tent over this. We should get food signs. So that people know that they sell some food here. Of course, we should not decorate it too much. Get too many Splendor points going. But a few is good. Just needs to make some money. Yeah, making money gets easier. That's very true. But we still have to make some money now. Just have to get up to 50 coins at this point. And then make sure that we... Uh, Buy this package. Then we can uh, build the tax office and then it should be way easier. Should have focused a bit more on the tax office early on. Uh, we could have gotten it a bit earlier, I think. All right. Once new people come in, we will put them in the uh, house, in the stonemason's hut. That's not a new villager, that's a trader. But that's also very welcome, because then we can sell some goods, of course. Hello, wifey! Glad you found us here. Sorry I didn't stream on Twitch, but uh, only Sundays is on Twitch now. Rest of the streams is on YouTube. Having a great deal of fun with everybody watching and interacting in chat and building a nice town here in Foundation. 40 pieces of clothing already. Courier is approaching. Also good. Um, yeah, we just need a few workers. <laughs> Everybody's going to get all excited now that wifey's there, which is usually the case. More excited about that than that I'm streaming, but that's totally fine. Here comes a little envoy. Let's see what he has to say. What do you want to say? A grandiose market. The elders feel your village is almost ready to host a trading fair. However, they are uneasy to receive visitors with such a market. They would like you to improve its appearance. A few colorful tents wouldn't hurt business, would it? Our markets will be splendid. That's true. We're going to do that. We just need a bit of coin. So people, please donate some coins so I can build the splendid market. That's basically it. Right, we also need a goods stall sign that we sell goods here. That does not really make it more expensive, so that's good. Still the 50 coins. 
Hey Cooper, nice of you to join us here. How are you today? Any ladies here? Well, you're here, so yeah. Three, four more workers. Excellent. Stonemason. Ah, we need a commoner plus. Well, let's get on with promotions then. Let's promote an unemployed villager. Include promotions and put it into the stonemason's hut. So yeah, we do need a lot more people in there. But it's a bit easier to place them because you can just promote an unemployed one and then put them in the right building, which is interesting. That's good to hear, Cooper. Nice to hear that. <laughs> All caught it up with the dogs again, Kimberly. I saw what you did there. What did I do? <laughs> Ooh, getting there with the coins. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, we just need a few more coins. I really want to get the tax office going because we need to tax all the people. I mean, we are a free society, but uh, yeah, we still need taxes. Oh, they will build you there soon. Well, you enjoy sitting there with the dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did her nails. Walking proudly today with her new nails. <laughs> well, we did make a few good trades. But now it's stalled again. Come on, people. Buy me a trade. Let's go to speed 3 for a little bit. Just till we get the money for the market stall scored. And after that to get money for the um, unlocking of the tax office. And then we can finally get some money. <laughs> Were you pampered a bit? <laughs> as long as you pay for it, they'll pamper you. That's no problem. All right, let's go over our resources. Plenty of berries, good amounts of fish. We have clothing now, which is very nice. We just need a warehouse for that soon, I guess. We can now build the expanded market stalls court. That's good. We have some cloth, but not too much. We need more wood, actually. I think I'm going to set a little zone here for extraction. Just to clear a bit of area here. That we can use to build a new part of town in. So just like that. All of the extraction can go away here. Because there's nothing to extract here anymore. Besides the stone and the few berries there. So this can just go like this. We have a lot of newcomers in town that want to join. Which is always nice of course. But uh, we'll have to find a job for them. Let's make them join though. Because I don't want to lose them. Uh, yeah, we don't have jobs for them right now, but we'll get that soon. We are getting a nicer market now. Let's see what we need to unlock the uh, tax office. Five splendor points. Okay, well that might take some time, but we'll get there. Ah, Cooper is the name of your dog. Very nice. <laughs> well, you're definitely in a different time zone from Canada. You don't have to Google that. Cooper. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a Chihuahua. It doesn't sound like a Cooper, but can be mistaken, of course. But Cooper does sound a little bit like a big dog. Ooh, new content available for the uh, tier there. Let's see. The labor tier. Yes, tax office. Perfect. Click. There it is. Let's build a tax office. Let's get taxing people. We need money. Tax office. There we go. 
All right, I think we should just include the tax office next to this. A bit like this. Or should we just build a small building next to it and then later on build another big one? That could be interesting too. Let's raise it a bit. This should be the tax office. Very nice. Let's not go too fast. Earning influence. An isolated community of fishermen are looking for a kind-hearted builder. They need help constructing a bridge which would connect their village to the rest of the realm. They have not much to offer but they promise to share good words about your generosity among the laborers. My best builder will draw you a blueprint. Ooh, we can get uh, coinage there for the labor estate. That's nice. All right, let's try it out. Let's see what works. It worked. We got extra coins so we can unlock more stuff because this only cost us coins and not anything else. Newcomers ignore the happiness immigration factor. Laborer and clergy mutual splendor negative impact is reduced by 50%. I want that. And labor buildings upkeep reduced. Hmm. I'm going to go with this privilege. Because that will mean that these uh, negatives will not be so big. So we can get this now. Trade bonus or not so much negativity. We'll do not so much negativity. That's better. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, now that we have some splendor with the... Uh, with the laborers, we should unlock everything that we can. Save a few more coinage there. But first, let's get this done. Let's prioritize the tax office. So, Rodog, we can still quite quickly get to the tax office. I think if we've invested a bit more straight towards this goal, we've could, we could have gotten it a bit earlier. So I guess that's a good thing to know. Hopefully we can get good taxes out of it. My Cooper is a Rottweiler. Ooh, well, that's not like a Chihuahua at all. Interesting. Very nice. Ah, great, Kimberly. We'll, uh, we'll chat with you more on uh, Sunday then. Just to enjoy the stream uh, while it lasts another nine minutes. Thanks for being here, of course, and for being so nice. It's highly appreciated. You give the dogs a big cuddle from us. A courier is requesting an audience. Meeting the elders. Ooh, that sounds nice. The elders, the much respected leading men and women among the region's laborers, heard of your village and wish to make themselves useful to your people. They brought welcoming gifts, tools to ease your villagers lot and pledge their assistance hereafter. Ooh, nice. We get 10 coins and 10 tools. Great. So we can unlock something else again. All right, let's keep unlocking stuff as quickly as we can, because once everything is unlocked, we can switch to one of the other estates and do better with them too. So that can work out. We do have seven jobs available, so we need to invest in a few more jobs. Otherwise, people might... Part of the building must be in the water. Yes, that's where it is. All right, the tax office is ready. Let's get a tax collector. We have to promote another a villager without a job, of course. Unemployed. All right. Ooh, this one can't find a house. Okay. Well, that's your problem. Uh, let's promote a villager. That is unemployed. Yes, you are happy, so we'll promote you. You can be the tax collector. Now... We'll have to set taxes, I guess. Taxes, there we go. Let's keep them in the green so people will remain happy. Or at least quite happy. But yeah, this should bring in good amounts of money. I like it. I like it. <laughs> money, money, money. Oh yeah, I'm very happy because money is a big factor in this game. You need money for basically most of the buildings and unlockables and stuff. So just to keep things interesting, we should be making some money. And um, yeah, we are now making some money in game, of course, which is very nice. Not to say for the very nice donation I got. So that's also just wonderful. I'm really happy with that this time in chat. But uh, yeah, 
just for the fun of the game, I guess it's good that we can now tax the crap out of people and still call ourselves capitalists, so that's good. Ooh, very nice, Cooper. You enjoy a nice spring walk with Cooper there in Sweden. Have a great walk. Hope to see you another time. Take care. Stay healthy. But uh, yeah, the lone dictator is happy now. Getting another job here. Now we should just save money and make sure that we uh, buy an extra zone. I hope the tax collector, though, can get a big enough... Oops, no. There we can see. Yeah, right now he's collecting all the taxes because everything is close by. So that's good. Although we run a slight deficit. That's not supposed to happen. How is it with the levy bonus? Oh, the levy thing is gone. Let's discuss another levy. Minus 30%. Yeah, but we get a lot of coins. There it is. We'll take the happiness hit for a bit. And then... Uh, at least we have some coins now, which should be good. Ah, interesting. Uh, Roadhog, did you notice this house got built pretty recently and it still has density too, although we turned this off. So uh, that means that even they're not allowed to tear down a house tier level one. And then uh, upgrade it to tier to density level two, but they can still build a house tier density level two from scratch. So that can still happen. So that's interesting. The fishermen are thankful for the blueprint, as a bridge is definitely going to bring their community to the forefront. As thanks, they would like to trade a fair number of fish for some of your stones. All right, we can trade stones for fish. Keep the fish, I don't need it. Yeah, I want the fish, we can sell it. Accumulate 25 stones. Well, we have that already, so that's fine. Let's trade it. And advice, village decorations. Let's plant bushes, that's good. Profiting from taxes, let's increase taxation. Have a monthly profit from tax revenue above 100. Well, we should have that already. So those missions should be fine. We followed an advice. Yeah, we got 50 fish. Very nice. Got some more people in here. Ah, that's true. Because, of course, they will take all the space that it needs. So they won't be all almost in each other. That's true. That's true. Ah, very interesting. All right. Well, we got that clear then. That's good. We have to plant some decorative bushes. I guess we have to unlock them first. Decorations, where are they? Flower bush, village tree, fence, road sign, wooden bench. Yeah, these are all the unlockables. So let's get some decorations. Own a flower bush. All right, we'll get a flower bush. Oh, I think we should decorate the town a bit. At least we have a flower bush now. Uh, not near the church because we might expand the church later on. At least we did another advice. What else do we have? Ooh, we have wooden benches, stone benches. That's also interesting. Uh, I think we should go with a backrest bench. Because it will increase the desirability. And people have a place to sit while visiting the market. Uh, I think we should find a decent spot to place it. It'll cost a few coins, but that's okay. I really wonder whether people will actually use this or not. So will they sit on it? Yeah, they actually sit on it now. Very good. Beforehand that wasn't the case, but now they actually sit on a bench. All right. That's cool. Oh, Cooper, um, that's very, uh, very nice of you. But in two minutes, it's 10 p.m. here and I'm about to end the stream anyway. So um, you can leave it on, but I'll be off. I can assure you that. I'll be back on Sunday.
Well, they will have a nice walk and then get some more food. Okay, tax money. How much are we making right now? Not a lot. Should be getting sufficient tax out of all the housing, but um, yeah, he's collecting it all. It's just not going so fast. Of course, the days are also passing by slowly. The pub is open or the police is after you. Interesting. I do like the bridge, by the way. We build a pretty nice bridge. Ah, there's a courier. Let's see what he has to say. He's not taking the shortcut here. He's going... Oh, he's stopping there. Influencing others. While the neighboring priest was strolling around the village, you heard him talk of a pious merchant from Northbury offering lower prices to faithfuls such as you and your folks. A good relation with the clergy could let you benefit from these fair prices. The merchant should help faithfuls like us, but we don't have those coins, so we can't do that. Ah, we get a trade bonus. All right, we'll get a trade bonus. That's nice. We'll spend the coins on that. That's fine. I like a good trade bonus, especially if we can just buy it with tax money. Alright, we still get a new villager and we already have seven people without a job, so... Mm, not really need it. But we'll get one. I don't think we have any jobs available at this point. It's time to get a few extra jobs now. Yeah, all we need is an extra zone. But it will cost us 250 coins, which we have right now. And a little upkeep that we have too. We can pay that. So that could be interesting. This will buy also a big sea zone, but uh, we don't need a sea zone. Are there any berries in here? Yes. All right, let's buy this zone. That should be interesting. Then we can move the stone industry and maybe make it a slightly bigger. So let's... Nope. No, no. Let's start with the stone industry. Let's get two of these. Should be interesting. Let's make an extraction zone around this. <laughs> well, slow is usually good. All right, let's have them chop down all these trees slowly. Let's just create a bigger area that we can just do all of this straight away. Perfect. Okay, that's done. Now we also have space for a keep here. We can move slowly move the stone industry. We do need a warehouse to go along with that for all the stone. And of course we need to get the um, stone cutter also here so that he can actually make sure that we uh, get all the polished stones so this guy can go away then this should open up a few more options for our little town and provide a lot more jobs we have five jobs in here we'll get rid of this one but we have two here then so that should provide a lot more stone cutting jobs and more people with a job is a good thing, of course. Ah, they start gathering berries here now. I guess they ran out here. Stone cutter camp built. Perfect. Let's delete this one. Destroy. And they should all switch over. And once they have... There's two in here already. We can add more people to this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do five. And then the other ones can all go in here. That's the extra stone business. Then we'll get two stone polishers soon. And we can remove this extraction zone. And that should up the desirability in this area. Yep, the redness is gone. It's now all green. We could even try and ask them if they want to build some houses on this site. 
I don't mind. They can build houses in this area. Like this. Yep, there they come. There's a house, there's a house. So there, they actually want building houses there. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny Cooper. And you're back and we're still here with the stream. So that was a really fast walk. Alright, 10 stone miners now. Question is, can we buy the stone masons well they are quite expensive to get 25 each so we can't build them yet because we don't have the coins for it but we can do that soon luckily we can just leave them out there let's set this one up for stone uh not polished stone normal stone no normal stone i said good stone and then polished stone that means that all the stones can go out of this one and we can keep this one just for the lumber. Or the planks. I guess the planks, that would be the best. Alright, interesting. We moved this industry, that's good now. <laughs> no, I would not start arguing with a Rottweiler, no. That's probably not the best idea. Alright, let's build this stonemason. And let's build this stonemason. Did we get... Yeah, we're getting close to 100 techs in a month. So that's good. Not there yet. But there is still some money to be collected. So that should be interesting. We can see the tier 2 housing coming up. So finally we have some tier 2 houses for the people. They really want that. In the high desired area. So that's working out too. Oh, I'm quite happy with this. The village is taking shape nicely. All the stones get in there. They got removed from here. So now we can tell them to put some more planks in here. The more we have, the more we can sell. Yeah, I wonder how that will go if, if there's a Rottweiler sleeping on your lap and you want it off and it just wants to stay. Hmm, who's going to win that? All right, finally in the money, we have a nice town. We are slowly occupying the entire island so we're getting somewhere but this is also the moment where we are going to end this stream despite all the fun it's also almost bedtime so thank you all very much for being here thank you all for watching it was amazing thanks to everybody in the chat for being so nice and of course a warm thanks to all the people just watching and you're totally free to not chat of course um we'll continue this next week and start building up the town even further getting a few extra industries and things like that um sunday i will be on twitch we will be continuing our patron game there so yet another city builder and we'll uh, build up the town there uh, have a great weekend and i hope to see you then stay healthy take care and see you all next time bye bye